Hi, Donazami. I hope you guys are doing super good. I hope that you are ready for the new week. And as usual, let's keep it moving. Now, yesterday, which was the 19th, it was the 19th of May, uh, MK, Mkondo Wesiza, the political party that is headed by Mr. Jacob Zuma. Now, we know Jacob Zuma is the former president of South Africa. He is also a former member of the ANC, the African National Congress, the party that has been ruling South Africa since 1994. Now, Mr. Jacob Zuma has branched out of the ANC. He has left the ANC and he started his own political party called the MK, Mkondo Wesiza, which was founded last year. December 2023 and which seems to be doing immaculately well like the support yesterday he had a manifesto that he attended at uh, Orlando Stadium so the manifesto was a MK launch he was launching his party I guess and the turnover turnout was mwah. so the stadium itself Orlando Stadium it seats 40,000 people right so it was packed so in this video, we can see the president of the MK party, Mr. Jacob Zuma, walking into the stadium. Mm. We can see that, you know, he's brought a lot of energy. People are just excited to see him. People are happy and looking forward to hear what he has to say. What does his party represent? What is his party bringing to the table? And just generally, you know, there's just that hype. You would say this is the man that's going to lead us into the next couple of years in governance. So I guess it's something to see, but definitely the turn was amazing see how full how packed the stadium is and people are all here gathered to listen to what mr jacob zuma is offering in south africa is he the man to bring us the changes that we want is he the man who's going to make the right decisions for the people decisions that will benefit the people well we don't yet know yet we are still watching we are still waiting and to those of us who haven't made a political decision yet i think this is the best time because our days are limited our days are really really limited because the 29th is just around the corner it is time for us to decide which political party we'll be going for be Uma ulalele umulalele kutuabaya pela bandu babula wazike bengu sambe baba alo mabe kona bamshobu Abanda ba fayo bebula zike bengwit tina banda ba miyam ibangelo a ili ondo kutubwe kono kebeng intu pego oba bantu ba lambile abana guda guda ba zoguda umwa kume kuguza ukubona na kuge next door zogunze njal ngazufe we akoko ba mundi oktata loga guda. So that's a very, very small clip of part of what Jacob Zuma said yesterday. But remember, elections are all about the people. It's the people that matter because it's the people that vote. So let's hear a small part of what the people have to say. My vote goes to MK, has always been and will be. And now you must understand it comes from a Boer that had fought against the Zulus. But it's time that we get back to Blood River. We have to go and wash our swords and I've agreed with the king that we're going to do it. We're going to wash our sanas, our guns, and we're going to wash the, uh, the swords and we're going to make peace in this country and we will run. And let me tell you something, that small man that looked so small when the first time I saw him, he grew in stature as I saw him in Nkandla. And God showed me this is going to be a president once more before he goes to heaven and he will sing with the angels a new song this man will lead this country this is a prophecy you can see it today in the next two weeks we can make it happen he's the only man that can unite south africa nobody else can now let's hear from an mk supporter who is based overseas let's hear what they have to say we are here to vote we have voted in fact Says Hoti Latina, Obura Maposa, Uija Yonki Mali, White Sata Wifi Sago Matras, Tina, Svodela, Baba Wetu, the one and only trusted Baba. Siniwa, Siniwa, when young Bambezilla, Siniwa, Siniwa, when young Bambezilla, Agabuyum Shodos. 
he must come back and liberate us from Rama Rama. It's definitely interesting times for South Africa and for South African politics. Now we wait for the 25th. Remember, on the 25th, the ANC is also having its rally at the FNB Stadium. Now, let's see if the turnout is going to be just as good. All getting ready to go and make our mark.